Hey, welcome back to the Mecca Workshop, and thank you. Ag well, and again, thanks for joining again. Another video um, coming through fast and furious. These videos, aren't they? Right. The um, th this is something that's happened to me before on eBay. Um, you look at a picture on eBay, and the item you you buy, and I should have looked. It says fifteen uh, mil. The item you buy, and you think is this big. <laughs> because of the picture, oh, when it arrives, it, it's small. But this is uh, nonetheless a, a le leather recolouring balm. So it's not a polish, uh, it's got pigment in it, which uh, th this case needs. Uh, I think just a polish would sit on top. So let, let's open it and have a look what it's like, the this, this, this stuff inside. Okay. So it looks quite gloopy, and I think that's a good sign because it looks really thick. Uh, this and I just want the pigment out of it. So what I'll do is uh, I'll probably water it down, make it go a, a, a bit of a longer way, and uh, make it easier to uh, to apply. So let's put that on one side because what I want to do really before I go any further is get out of the way of what I can. Now th this back panel was in poor condition and I've glued it down so I can't get the back grill off anymore. But I don't think we'll be colouring this inside, it, it's just the outside bit here. Perhaps I'll just have to be really careful uh, when applying this, this uh, colouring balm with the uh, green pigment in it that we're after. Uh, these strips that I've cleaned up or trims. I'm going to leave them on and wipe them over after. If I have to clean them again, that's fine. Same with the aerial. I'll leave that down. Uh, badges off. Oh, the, the turntable underneath. Yeah, so we don't get a, an edge. What we'll do, we'll take that off now. So, as I said, if you're taking one of these off, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a hole in the bottom of the turntable and there's one, two three fixing screws on there so we'll just take them out by exposing them by lining the hole up where they are and of course all you can see is, uh, is my screwdriver there are the screws that come out of it let's put them in a little safe pot because if I don't I'm bound to lose them so next one Let's try and strip the heads on these screws as well so they'll never ever go back in. Uh, as you can see I haven't done. It's a, I think it's a bugbear with a lot of people like myself who work on radios. Especially the crosshead ones like the Phillips they're sometimes called. Um, yeah, just you take your screws out, just be careful with them, you don't want to damage them. And that now should just pull off. There we go, we can give that a clean up as well. Uh, I have oiled this one. If, you look, if, you, if you're following the RT7 uh, video that I'm doing, that I've just started, uh, you'll notice the tan one was really gritty when it was being turned round, so we'll have to um, oil the turntable on that. <sighs> this piping, this gold piping, It looks quite delicate. I, I'm making a decision to, to leave that on. So when I've done this, looking at the pigment I've got here, uh, that should be the original colour. This will end up darker. Um, I think that will help with the, the handle strap that we've uh, refurbished. So I'll pause the video now, I'll get some stuff to water this pigment down, and uh, we'll have a go at, at applying it. So here we go, let's see if we can get a good shot of this so you can see what's going on. That that uh, sound that's, uh, th this this camera's on a, an arm that's got springs on it and that's what you can hear now and again. So, um, we're going to expect the, uh, the clock to chime two because it's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, let's see what we've done. So we've got gloves on, we've got some newspaper down, we've got uh, an empty 
uh, this old top there. We've got the die. Uh, I've got a piece of a, an old credit card because I, th I think that might be good for spooning, spooning it in. Uh, we've got a little bit of water to water it down. Uh, two, I've cut out two little these uh, Scotch Brite sponges. I've just cut out two two pieces to hopefully be able to apply the stuff and uh, a little paintbrush just for if any for any tricky areas. So if you want to sit back. Grab yourself a cup of tea or a beer and, and watch. Let's get this done. After all, not much else to do at the moment. Let's see if we can make a mess. I'll see if it turns out okay. Never done this before. Never worked with this product before. Oh, let's get some of it in there. And let's pour a tiny bit of water in. I do think it, it's probably oil based, isn't it? I do wonder if it is water based or oil based. Ah, it's it's water water based because you can see it's it's mixing quite well. Mix some up in there. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, bit, bit of, let's put a, a drop more water in actually. There we go. Let's uh, test a little bit on this newspaper. Well, actually, that looks very thin. Okay, let's let's spoon a bit more of this balm in and mix it up. I just keep the camera rolling. Oh, start to splash it everywhere. That's good. Probably get it all over my clothes. I'm notoriously bad at painting. Well, let's give this a go. There's the clock. Oh, it might might come out okay. This. And the toughest part is getting it on even and getting the right consistency. What I'll do is just just apply it like this in in thin layers. If you have to build it up, you have to build it up. Which I don't knock the thing over. I seem to be getting some stripey effects with it. And where it's hit that scratch, it's it's gone darker. This is, I think this is going to need a, a few layers. It certainly is going to uh, enhance the set, the, the colour of it, because it was very faded. Wondering how I can get it on at a more even consistency. Can you see that I'm getting quite a lot of stripes, or whether they'll whether they'll blend in on the next coat. Might put a thicker coat on next. I'm going over everything because I'll I'll end up cleaning it all up afterwards. Let's just get some on. See what happens. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> being, being aware of that speaker grill at the back. Well, it's um, it's a vent grill, really, isn't it? It must be adding some pigment. Guess what I'm going to do to try and get this on more evenly is just put this first rough layer on, let it dry a little bit, and then give it a wipe over with a clean, uh, a clean dry towel, and uh, see, see if we can get it a bit more even. I'll just persevere and just keep going over it and over it and over it until, until it goes on even. 
it's definitely adding colour, that's for sure. So I'll I'll pause pause the camera again while I uh, I get on with this. Uh, do another coat. See if I can get it on more even. Um, and if we start to wipe it off, I ah, see that works with a with a clean one. It gets rid of all them them lines. And uh, I wonder if that's the way to do it then. Yeah, so I'll put it on with this one direct from this pot, like that, and leave it for a while, and then with a drier one, to wipe it, the all the little streak lines disappear, and it starts to look much better then. So, just a technique that I've just learnt now, you've got you to do these things when you're learning how to do stuff. Oh yes, that looks much better like that. Um, so yeah, I'll, like I say, I'll carry on doing this. Let that dry, put another coat on. Let it dry, put another coat on. And see what the uh, the final uh, verdict is on using this, this green pigment. It is by... It was, it was very cheap actually. I think it was a couple of quid posted. And it's by a company called Wakeson. Uh, since I <laughs> since I started doing this, since I ordered this, I have watched a few other videos online, and there's um, uh, there's a few products that people really recommend. And if I'd have known that, then I would have uh, took their recommendations and bought that. But this this might work, might work out okay. Who knows? Okay, let's pause and uh, onwards and upwards. So here we go. It's it's had uh, two coats of that. Um, watered down uh, balm. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to allow allow it just to dry completely. It looks a lot better than it did before to be honest. It still looks a little bit streaky but what I've noticed using this particular brand of dye are uh, any of the lighter parts like there was a scratch there have gone really dark now. I don't know if I'm, I'm trying not to handle it too much because it's still quite wet. If I lift that up and get it in the right light, you could probably see that. It's my first attempt at doing one of these staining uh, with pigment dye on, on one of these sets. And I think it's coming out okay. It's not like brand new, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look as bad as before. Any dark uh, spots that were like light are coming out really dark now. I think what I'm going to do now is let this completely dry. Let me show you the other end. Just try to show you how, how it's coming out. I'm going to let it completely dry and then do the same process again. And see how that comes out. And then we should be ready to reassemble this set. Which will be fun and then we can give it a spin in the next video. So, thanks very much for watching again. And be good to each other. And stay safe. I'll catch you next time.